to Daniel. Welcome back to the last YouTube channel. We've slept. We're in Lofoten. A lot of mountains. We're gonna go take a lot of photos of mountains. One of, the, one of the things that Marcus and I were both pretty worried about is we don't really do landscape photography. We do like, here's a broken house, or here's a factory, or you know, here's something dirty and dying, not here's a perfect mountain vista. So we were worried about like, what were we gonna photograph in Lofoten? It turns out we're gonna photograph the mountains. We are now landscape photographers. This is a landscape photography YouTube and a tunnel appreciator. We love tunnels. Shout out to Norway and all its mountains and all its tunnels. Do you have anything to add to that? Love it. Love it. It's the best. Please look forward to pre-ordering our new book. Holy shit, look at this mountain. So we stopped at a gas station to get some snacks and then we saw a single photo. So we started taking photos. I don't actually have any of our like video equipment for these photos because these weren't supposed to be a spot where we were stopping to take photos. So gonna take some photos. <laughs> One thing that's really, really dumb about photography is sometimes it's just about paying a bunch of money to get somewhere that looks like this and then pointing a camera at it and then we glamorize it and then people feel like they're not good photographers because they didn't have the money to come here. But if I'm being honest, this is making me feel like the worst photographer in the world. Because <laughs> all I'm doing is like, oh, okay. <laughs> That'll do.
the, the fact that we only spent an hour and a half taking photos of one of the prettiest places on earth is pretty impressive. Credit to us. I think that for shows, leaving. I would say, uh, some sort of integrity. Restraint. Restraint. Uh, intelligence. Probably. Um, uh, handsomeness. Yeah. 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 Only handsome people leave after an hour and a half. Yeah. Like, it feels, it feels insane that I traveled, uh, you know, whatever it is, like 5,000 miles and multiple planes, trains, automobiles, boats, ferries, to make the point that, like, you shouldn't have to travel to take incredible photos and you can make amazing images in your home. So like maybe in Lofoten, it's not the right spot to try to make that point, but. <laughs> okay, so now uh, we have, we have uh, created what's called the holy f rule, where we're only stopping, oh, holy f Yep. <laughs> <laughs> where we're only stopping to take a photo if we swear. Uh, that's it, those are the rules. We have to travel five hours. We've made it exactly 10 minutes. Uh, that was supposed to be quick coffee and snacks, and that took 90 minutes. So, it's going great. I love that for them. They deserve it. Did you see those, uh, like the one with the phone uh, I think he realized that. No, oh, he didn't. He's not gonna realize it. We made, we made it like a kilometer before we stopped again. Um, but in our defense, it did, it did look something like this. banning ourselves from the coast. We're headed into the mountains, trying to take the road less seen. Okay, we made it, we made it, we made it like two kilometers this time. I'm gonna, I'm, new plan, new plan. I am not going to put on my coat. That's how we're gonna get around this. Okay, I had a new plan. Yeah. I'm not putting on my coke. So the cold will tell you when you go back? Yeah. Well, that was worth the stop. I'm freezing. Okay, no coat idea was great. Three cheers for no coat. Look at us. We're back inside within four minutes. That's perfect. That's amazing. That's great. Great job, us. Well, we made it another 30 feet. <laughs> this feels like it's happening to someone else, right? Like that this is my life uh, today and only today is, is nuts. Um, pretty 
pretty grateful. Pretty happy. Pretty good. All right, I'm gonna get out. I'm gonna take some photos. I don't know about you, but I'm like legitimately tired. I'm tired too. Like my brain is tired from having onboarded so many new amazing views that I'm like, no more. Yeah. We need we need a we need a visual break. Like a white page to look at or something. Yeah. Something brain. beige. Yeah, I want taupe. Give me a taupe wall. I guess the point is holy shit, look at these photos. I suppose that's yeah. That's fair. That's a pretty good point. What more do you need? It is a photography channel and a photography community. Hey, join Glass! Use the link in the description. You can meet friends who will drive you to Norwegian islands. It's pretty good. We finally made it to our Airbnb. It's been a long day. I kept thinking about this, right? Cause like, I was trying to make that point about not needing to go to the most beautiful place on earth to take photos. I think the thing that I was actually trying to say is so often people assign, uh, 
was, was the way to say this. It feels like photographers often will use the excuse of vacation or a road trip or a flight to take their photography seriously, to say that this is a thing they care about and they feel like they have to take a long flight or a long train ride or a car ride to get to a spot where they can make meaningful photos. But that's like selling outside of your home short, right? Like you can leave your house and walk around uh, your neighborhood and take incredible photos. Uh, We often just end up using vacation as the excuse to put forth effort into our photography instead of putting forth effort into what's outside our door. Passion follows commitment, not the other way around. And so like when you when you commit to like a daily photo project, the passion for your photography will come from that and the growth that you get from that will help feed anytime you're taking photos, even if you're walking outside your door or if you're flying from Baltimore all the way to Northern Sweden to drive forever to get to Norway doesn't matter like the the photography is improved by the commitment to it and by going forth and doing it wherever you are not just needing to take a trip to do it that's what i was trying to say sorry i'm very tired i'm gonna go drink some wine and edit 900 photos uh and you want to see this face every thursday until i'm dead please like and subscribe in the thing um so I can keep spending my own personal money to fly places in the world. Uh, Join Glass today, it's the best. You'll find friends who will drive you to the ends of the earth for a photo. Or like, dance around in trees with lights. That's pretty great. That's pretty great.